Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Smells Like. I'm Josh. So good to see you. Uh, today I have a fragrance review uh, from the House of Creed, one of my favorites. This is Millicene Imperial. Comes in this gorgeous gold bottle. This is the 100 mil size. Uh, the current sizes available for this are the 100 mil and 50 mil that come in these gorgeous uh, gold bottles. Uh, but more on those details in just a couple minutes. Millicene Imperial came to us in 1995, so this one really has been around, stood the test of time, uh, still stands up, doesn't smell dated at all. It still smells just as fresh and elegant and illustrious as it did, I'm sure, when it came out back, came out back in 1995. Uh, this was made by Olivier Creed, and apparently it was a commissioned work uh, for the King of Saudi Arabia. This was made for a king and it smells like royalty. It really does. From the golden bottle to the uh, elegant uh, smell, uh, you know, this one does smell like royalty. It elicits the uh, feeling just of wealth, of well being. Um, it was meant to evoke the uh, seaside citrus groves of Sicily. So all of the citrus, aromatic citrus is growing there in Sicily. Uh, there particularly a Sicilian lemon that's used in this, uh, mixed with the fresh uh, salty sea air, sea breeze coming in from the Mediterranean. Notes for Millicene Imperial. In the top we have some mixed fruit notes uh, as well as sea salt. In the heart, we have that Sicilian lemon. We have bergamot, mandarin, and a Florentine iris. In the base, we have musk, woody notes, and an oceanic or aquatic accord. Uh, and that musk and that sort of sea salt aquatic accord is no doubt coming from uh, Creed's uh, signature ambergris accord that they really have made famous and kind of made a signature of many of their fragrances. For me, this one opens with this awesome blast of citruses. Uh, I do get the lemon and the tartness from that, but there's also some sweeter things going on, a little bit of a sweet fruit note. Uh, some people talk about more of like a mixed fruit accord, like uh, maybe with some berries or melon type fruits there. Uh, some people talk about like a watermelon or a fresh cantaloupe kind of thing, maybe mixed with some other fruits. Um, and then also the citruses, a little bit of a sweet citrus from the mandarin. You get that bracing um, zestiness from bergamot. Uh, of course, the very natural Sicilian lemon that was sourced for this one. Uh, as you move out of the opening, really bright citrusy fruitiness, uh, there is this sort of sea salty uh, accord there that kind of just smells like what you would think like a sea breeze or a, a salt, salty sea air would smell like. Um, that kind of goes into a little bit of a floral nuance and the floral comes from this Florentine iris, uh, a natural iris that they sourced that really ties all of the different fruits and citruses, the sea salt and the, the musks and things from the base, really ties it all together. It really is a kind of a, a heart note that, that really kind of ties uh, two ends of, of the composition together, the bright citrus uh, and sea salt, uh, kind of with the musky, uh, woody elements that give this thing a little bit of a, of a solid base to stand on. As this fragrance develops on the skin, uh, you really begin to get this great musky accord, uh, some sort of woods, like a dry woods uh, going on there, um, as well as this sea breeze. It's almost as if you're moving from the citrus groves towards the sea, and as you move towards the sea, maybe you get go through a little bit of like a patch of, of iris and other florals growing there, and as that citrus kind of fades, it's still there, but maybe not as strong as it once where you get closer to the shore line where you have more of the ocean, more of that musky, slightly heady, oceanic thing going on. Um, just such an enjoyable, opulent fragrance. Uh, I am 
holding on to summer with this one right now. We're really coming to the end of summer. We're almost to autumn, but we're not quite there yet. And so for me, I am really just hanging on to summer with this one. And it is the perfect fragrance uh, for hanging on to that sun-drenched blue sky, uh, nice warm weather. Uh, this one really wears well in the heat, in the sunlight. Um, it's a really sunny, clear day, about 80 degrees here in the Midwest from the United States today. And this is the first day of my vacation, marking the end of summer and beginning of the fall. And so I thought, what better fragrance to get myself in the mindset of vacation and just kind of letting all my cares melt away than this fragrance. It really does evoke that feeling of just getting away from it all, getting into a feeling of luxury, of opulence, uh, of indulgence, uh, and, and just kind of enjoying those natural fragrances that really just kind of transport you away. Longevity for this one is actually pretty decent for such a light and citrus-based fragrance. Um, you know, some people talk about how they get really poor uh, longevity and performance uh, with Melissime Imperial, and you know, that's really gonna vary from person to person. I get about eight hours of longevity until I just can't smell it anymore. Uh, six hours of a pretty solid performance. I'm gonna say two and a half to three hours of projection. Uh, and really about the six hour mark, this one really gets to where I can't hardly smell it at all. I'm at about the seven hour mark right now. I can still smell it very easily, but I have to really dig in there and next to my skin. So it really, at, a, at the six hour mark, it is a com total skin scent. Um, and then you get it to the eight hour mark when it really disappears completely for me. Pricing for this one, uh, at full retail, man, this one hurts. Full retail in the United States from the Creed Boutiques uh, or the Creed website, this one is $395 for the 100 mil size. And you know, at that price, you're really gonna wanna try this one out, make sure that it's a love for you. Uh, however, this one can be found widely at trustworthy online retailers like FragranceNet uh, or Max Aroma. I actually got this bottle on FragranceNet uh, a few months ago for about $175 uh, with shipping and everything. I think it was $175 or somewhere around there. And at that price, I. I'm all about it. I'm I'm here for this one at you know the 175 up to maybe you know 200 or a little over 200 dollar mark. That real you know this one has its value in that area, no doubt for me. Um, at that price, I'll always definitely keep a bottle of this one in my collection. So just have that in mind if you're gonna go and shop for this one. 175 dollars to 200 dollars for a 100 ml bottle of this. For the gold bottle, it just looks awesome in the collection up on the shelf. And like I said, this one just evokes sunlight and an easygoing kind of time. This this one really, you know, it's like sunshine, it's like summertime um, in a fragrance. And so, uh, really enjoy it for that. Let me know in the comments what you think of Millicene Imperial from Creed. You know, this one has kind of... I think reached legendary status at this point being around since 1995 it still stands the test of time um, you know do you agree with that let me know in the comments and if you'd like to do this again sometime go ahead and hit that subscribe button thanks so much for watching